Hi folks, welcome to another Finland angling adventure. It's Saturday the 12th of September, about quarter past nine in the morning. I'm a bit late today. And uh, I'm heading off to my local river to do a bit of fishing for my kayak again. Hoping to get a few nice rod, maybe one or two good bream. And even better if I could just bag another tench. I think I've only had one this year on my kayak though. They're a bit uh, elusive and crafty. I've seen them rolling and bubbling but they're very hard to catch on the river sometimes. But anyway, we'll give it a go and see how we get on. I'm looking forward to it. What a nice day. Come on fish. Right folks, I'm here, hot already, so I'm taking some layers off. I haven't got my rods in yet, I'm just getting set up. It's warm already, it's only about 10 o'clock. Plenty of rowers about this morning, as always. They're not the problem, it's the cruisers that are the problem. Nearly tip you over sometimes when they're going fast. Here goes. Right folks, I've done it. Let's make sure my lens is clear. Hopefully that's clear. I've done it. Caught a tench. Only my second fish of the day so far. Tiny rud and then a nice tench. Nice male. I reckon that's about six pound. I shall weigh it. Well, I can't find weigh it because I can't find my waist sling. And now I was going to wait and they're landing it, and I think they're landing it's filling the water. I don't know that has. I've got to try and get that out. I'll have one more look at the fish. And then put it back. Look at that. Absolute beauty. Put it back. Nice male. And the net slipped in, I put it behind me and that's fell in. I didn't think it looked safe, but I've lost it. Can't carry on fishing without a land in it. What a crap. Not far that way. Can't quite see it. There's a lot of cabbage below me, so it couldn't have gone far. It must be caught in the cabbage somewhere. <sighs> disaster. Great fish, but a disastrous session. <laughs> and off he goes. Thank you very much, Tench. So I didn't get to weigh it, but I think it's about six pound. Well, I tried to get my landing net back, but I can't find it, so I've got to try and carry on without a landing net and see if I, if I catch any fish, I'll have to unhook them in the water. I don't know where it went. I balanced it behind me, and when I unhooked the fish and looked back, it had gone. Or well, during the process of unhooking it, anyway. I don't think it's gone off the back, it's either gone down there or down there. I can almost see the bottom here, but I can't see it. And I've had a, had a rummage around with, with me oar, but I can't find it, so. Just another problem I've got to get over for the rest of the session. <laughs> probably won't catch any more tension after catching that one anyway. It's probably disturbed the swim so much. Never know. That was nice. Caught a little pike on a worm. 
<laughs> Not quite what I wanted, but managed to land it without a landing net. Off you go. See that one? Off you go, little. Hurry right, up before another pike gets you. See it, Robert? Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. He's gone. No, I was fishing for tench. I might catch some fish now. I ain't caught nothing for hours. Probably spooked my swim. <laughs> Robert's over there, as you can probably hear. I lost a landing net earlier and he lost a rod. <laughs> Not funny. <coughs> One of the rowers got too close to him and caught his line and pulled his bloody rod in and couldn't get it back. So I'm going to have a look for that on the way back. On the way back to the bank, see if I can retrieve it for him. But if I can't see, find my net in. This shallow water up this end, I don't know if I'm going to see his rod either, but I'll have, a, I'll have a go for it. There you go. First fish I've had in ages on this rod, well, since the tench. It's been really quiet. Maybe it'll pick up now. Now I've got him out of the swim. Well, I haven't, because I'll put him back in the swim, so... But it might make him a bit... It might make him go somewhere else and play. It's getting late in the day, but I've just caught a little bream, about a pound, pound and a half. I might pack up in a minute and go again this evening. In uh, Ely. Do some bream fishing. I'll give it ten minutes or so, and then, then decide. Right, folks, that's it on this stretch. I'm going to call it a day now. It's been a long session, really, just for three or four fish. But three decent fish, I had the tench, which felt about six pound to me. Um, pike, probably two or three pound. And a bream, about a pound and a half. I had a few little rud, but it's been pretty slow, to be honest. But um, losing my net wasn't very clever, so hopefully I've got a spare one at home. So I'm gonna go home in a minute, have my tea, and then pop back in the evening, do an evening session. So it's goodbye from this nice stretch at the moment. Let's go and see if I can get Robert's rod back. Right then folks, now that we're home, I'm going to show you my kayak setup. This is my nine foot kayak, I believe, eight, nine foot, from Cambridge Kayaks in Dis in Norfolk. I think that was about £300 when I bought it, but I think it's about 270 now. It's quite good value. Uh, where should we start? Padded seat, not the best seat in the world. Can be a bit uncomfortable after many hours fishing, but pretty good still. Some of the boats you can get a um, specially made fisherman's seat for them, but they don't fit this boat. So if you wanted a better seat, you'd probably have to make some kind of adjustment. Got five rod holders, one in the middle, which I don't use really. I use that to hold my GoPro, as you can see. Uh, I've got two holders at the front, two at the back here. I use them. Uh, just take two rods though, one little drop shot rod and one float rod with a slider float set up which I showed you before which I caught my tench on today didn't catch much on the drop shot rod today but I had a nice tench on that rod and a pike and a little bream 
got two compartments for storage one between your legs here which is good for your phone or your valuables your wallet and stuff there you go one at the front which I can't reach when I'm sitting in my boat so I don't really use that a lot that's handy still all these places to put your feet find which one's comfortable for you when you're rowing or when you're sitting fishing you won't sit in the same position for long as I assure you you'll move your feet up and down or your knees up and down all day long to try and get comfortable um, nice little lightweight oar that come with a boat and these little elastic bits on the handles that are quite handy for keeping the oar in place while you're fishing so that you don't lose it <coughs> alright what's next a little space at the back here which I put my box in I'll just take this box put some bits of tackle and some bait in there put it in the back and when I get to my swim I'll put it in the water as you've probably seen tie it off to the handle so you haven't to reach around for all your bait and your tackle all the while thus hurting your back or not hurting your back I can't get that off but I think that's just for draining it off if you get any water in it handle at the back and at the front always wear your life jacket kids I took mine off today because it was too hot but say so do as I say not do as I do a spare rope for tying it off to a tree this is my anchor I always tie it off at this ring at the back, feed it through that one and then chuck my anchor ahead of me after tying to a tree first. always tie off to my tree first with me other rope and then chuck my anchor in which at the moment is a G-clamp and a bike lock. <laughs> Must get a proper one but it does a job. <coughs> and what else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's it apart from my favourite feature which is I'll take them off first or oh, also take a little landing net on a bank stick but uh, as you saw I lost that today trying to unhook my tench it's, I had it across the back here and it slipped in I tried to record underwater with my camera see if I could see it when I played it back I couldn't see it at the time because it was too sunny even with a coat over my head I couldn't quite see but when I got home and watched it back I could see the the net at the bottom of the river I could see the writing on it so I know where it is so I'll have to go back and get it but I managed to land a few fish without it anyway unhook them in the water sort of thing my favourite feature you've got all these different bungs you can use them to or these two for putting the wheels on I use the back two normally bam, 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 bam. lift that up here's your wheels which fit perfectly in those two holes Simple as that. And that makes it so much lighter. And you can wheel that for a long, long way before you get worn out. Don't forget to put your bungs back in. Doesn't really matter because if you was just kayaking you'd probably once you're on the, on the water you'd put these back in there anyway like that or carry it with you I don't think much water's gonna get in there but as I'm not kayaking I'm actually fishing I um, when I get to my swim I hide that in the long grass somewhere and then put the bungs back in And just hope nobody finds my wheels. 
so that's it. I hope you like the tour of my little kayak setup. Uh, I'm not going to go fishing this evening, like I said I would, it's a bit late now. And I'm tired anyway. So that's the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up if you've liked it. And thanks for subscribing to my channel, if you have. And uh, that's it for now, folks. I'll see you on the next trip. Thanks for watching.